the recent press, there are more than 300 newspapers that are carrying the story of the Tritium Leaks throughout the country. Those wells are all about 30 feet from the river, and it's, it's crystal clear, uh, it has been crystal clear to me, and, and yesterday the Department of Health also said that uh, it's obvious Tritium is now in the river. When they're further out in the river, the river that leaks it down enough where they are still not detecting it. But it, it's not like it can stop at the Vermont border. It, it's obviously moving in that direction. And the, the groundwater trend on this entire site is from the, the west to the east. And the good news is that, that the school is, is to the west. So it doesn't appear that the wedge is moving toward the school. It appears it's moving toward the, uh, toward the river. Um, that our panel had none of it. The panel, um, the, the way the Department of Public Service uh, structured the program, the panel was not allowed to independently ask for anything. We were only allowed to read material that the interviewers had asked for. Yesterday, um, someone in the Department of Health Service about the side of a football field. Uh, this is pushing about the area of a football field or and a half to two football fields. Uh, the, the question now is how deep is it? Uh, now, Mr. Spinach spoke last week, and he said that uh, it would be about $10 million to clean it up if it was the size of one football field and if it was 10 feet deep. Well, it's now two football fields and perhaps 30 feet deep. So instead of $10 million, it could be as much as, as $30 million to $50 million to, to clean it up. How big is the pipe that we're talking about? Here? Several inches. This is not a pipe one can crawl in. And it's not a pipe you can inspect. It has not been inspected for 37 years. Okay. Uh, yeah. My question is, do you have construction drawings of the plant? Do they have construction drawings of the plant to, to the, show it, the location of any of these things? The, the plant was built by Abasco in 72, it went online. And there is a drawing that shows uh, underground pipe. The off-gas system was built by a separate contractor a year or two later. And when you look at all of the drawings from all of the contractors, which Energy did as part of this, this, this leak program, uh, they discovered that there were some pipes, seven, uh, that they had neglected to, uh, uh, to that, that they had no knowledge for there um, before January. And so how did they explain how the water got into that? Area. Um, they have not yet. January of 2009, the EPIRC asked uh, a question of energy. Do you have very underground pipe as part of a, a separate line of questioning? And we're told in writing by the head of the design engineering group that no, they didn't have any, any pipes. So and that was part of formal deposition. And that was in their in their role, in Beaufort's role as an intervener. We were just notified of that last night. So I can actually name five people within the organization who, who uh, didn't tell the truth to the state, in one, in one capacity or another. But when you look up the, the, the organizational chain of command, there's at least a dozen who were in the checks and balances uh, that, uh, that knew or should have known that what they were